how's your off season been, Dave? You uh, ready for another big year? Yeah, it's been um, pretty good so far. I had a minor hiccup after the season with some pretty minor ankle surgery, but bounced back from that pretty well. And um, currently, more progressed than I have been physically uh, for many years. So, um, yeah, quite happy with where I'm at. And the group certainly humming around football drills at the moment. The boys have come back with a renewed vigour. Is that true that your ankle um, really troubled you towards the end of last year, even in terms of even <coughs> kicking and your disposal? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a minor niggle that's been um, bothering me for a couple of years and it's just kind of got to the point where um, it needed a little bit of extra help to kind of fix it. But I certainly feel um, really strong on that, that ankle at the moment and um, progressing well. We were talking uh, the other day when you were doing your morning session. Is Dave Mundy bigger or is he slimmer? It was hard to judge. <laughs> Are you bigger or slimmer this year? Um, I'm roughly the same, but hopefully I'm uh, looking a little bit fitter than in previous years at this time. Having said that, um, I've, I never really blow out or anything like that. But um, yeah, aerobic run is something that I continually work on and um, getting a good blend of football and that kind of running capacity at the moment, which is really helping me physically um, progress. Um, a frustrating season for you. Do you just put that behind? I mean, you got the opportunity to be the captain of the footy club and especially early, you struggled to get on the park. Yeah, it was really frustrating uh, for everyone involved at the football club. Um, some, one we didn't really see coming, um, but one that's been a really good stimulus for a really good internal look and um, growth. We've, we've seen a number of changes through the playing group and the coaching staff and um, our training so far and the way the boys and the coaches have uh, really implemented themselves has been first class. So. Um, hopefully it's one step back to take two forward. Um, we're certainly working hard to make that the case. How tough was it for you, Dave, to be, as captain, to be sort of under, under pressure the whole club, but then you personally as well because of uh, you know, carrying injuries and that sort of thing as captain? Yeah, as I said, it was hard on everyone here. Um, and being a part of the leadership group and, and the captain, we um, take it a little bit, take a bit more of the load, I guess. Um, a number of our guys weren't even able to get out onto the park uh, for a significant amount of time last year. so. Um, as I said, we're all really hurting from it, um, but it's been a really good catalyst for change. So what happens now, captaincy-wise, every year they have another boat, do they? Is that how it works? Yep, yep. In my time here, that's the way it's always run. So um, we had a good block of training in, and towards the end of January, um, typically the players get together and have a vote, and um, we go from there. Do you want to remain as captain? Absolutely, yeah. Obviously a poor year for the entire club and myself last year, but. Um, really love the role and love leading the boys out every week and um, would really love to do it again. Why do you think you'd be a better leader in 2017 as opposed to 2016? Yeah, we all work off our history and what we've learnt throughout the past and um, certainly last year taught us a few harsh les lessons. Um, so I think I'm better placed this year um, to kind of grow off those lessons and, and be a better leader and a better player. Do you look back and maybe think <coughs> probably couldn't get much harder than that in your first year as captain given that your injuries and also the form of the side as well? Uh, yeah, possibly. It's not something I think about too much in terms of how much harder it could be, but um, we're really at the moment focused on looking forward and getting the most out of our training. We've got uh, another four main sessions before Christmas and that's a really good block for the guys to really exert themselves and, and get a bit of a mental refresher over Christmas and come back renewed in the new year. With the off-field indiscretions that have occurred so far in the pre-season, what's the <coughs> role being around the club, especially with Ross being away at the moment? Yeah, similar to any kind of indiscretion or, or um, you know, behavioural misconduct, we, we get together and we talk about it and we develop a plan and, and sometimes um, with the severity of the things that are going on that might include the leadership group a whole lot, but um, we understand that we're all just human, we all make mistakes and um, we all put our hand up you know, to try and remedy the case and, and get it back on track and um, as much as we can we help those guys and we help them through it and um, really focus on trying to get back out on the park and training hard. How's Michael Johnson and Shane Yarren holding up given the, the state of what is going on and, and obviously dragging out at the moment? Yeah, they're going well. Michael and, and Shane have both been training really really hard and physically are really, are really um, well progressed in their programs pre-Christmas. Is Shane what? still away from the club though, isn't he? Is that... He is, yeah. Yeah, so how do you how do you help Shane if he's not around? Is he around the club or how do you, how do you monitor him? No, so Shane's on um, personal leave at the moment and um, trying to sort his life out away from football, which is obviously quite important. Um, the club still has um, contacts with him and is still helping him through his issues and trying to help with his family and everything. Um, and he has a training program that I'm sure he's adhering to. So um, in terms of the playing group now, we kind of just get on with our business and what we need to focus on. Um, Shane's essentially like a long-term injured player for us. He's, he's in the background, he's working hard and the club's helping him, but um, our main focus is the guys here. 
How do you feel overall about those couple of kick-ups you've had in, in the off-season? As the captain, how do you feel about that, the negative publicity for the club? Yeah, it's not ideal, but as I said, um, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and it's how we rebound from those mistakes. And um, Clearly, I can't discuss individual cases too much because they're before the court, but um, as a group, we understand the standards that we want to live by, and, and some guys step out away from that a little bit uh, and at, at times, but um, as a group, we're really focused on um, it's ensuring our 2017 is a good season. Has it penalised them or punished them at all? I mean, the players, as a, as a leadership group, have you come up with some sort of penalty? No, no, well, they haven't been proven guilty of anything yet, so it's, it'll be a bit early for us to pull the trigger. So you've got to wait for the year, right, OK. Don't, is Nathan, that, you don't, you don't think we've made uh, meet as a leadership group to discuss just the fact that, that I guess they have put themselves in this position. But yeah, no, we absolutely do. We, and we um, reference it with the group and, you know, discussions around, um, you know, the continuing um, standards of the group. We discuss it and reference back to it, but... Um, yeah, as I said at the moment, for especially for Shane, it's it's the club issue, and, and we're focusing on the playing group that we have at the moment. Dave, does it dent your pride at all, or, or personally, does it hurt you, given your status as the captain, that these things have come on, and maybe that the couple, definitely the culture of the club's being questioned as well? Um, I can only speak to what we have in in the walls, and obviously it's not apparent to everyone else outside of our football club, but. Um, I, I'm 100% confident that our, our culture and our work, work ethic is strong. It's been built over a number of years. Um, in my time here, in over 14 years, it's, um, you know, it's had its fluctuations, but I think for the last five or six years, we've been really rock solid and really steady and um, to the point where around the league, we were really envied for how we went about it, both off and on the field. Our goal, obviously, is to get back to that stage, but I'm fully confident that we have um, the resources, the people and the structures in place to get back to that really quickly. And on the park winning games of footy, is it just a case of getting more Nat Fife on the ground, Aaron Sandlands and even yourself? Yeah, it would certainly help. Um, getting our best players on the park and keeping them there is an absolute goal. Um, betting in our systems, I think we went, went away from that a lot last year throughout the pre-season and we saw, we saw that throughout the year, um, especially when we had to expose some young guys, not really sure what they were doing and getting a bit lost within our game plan. So we're working hard to, to bed that side down. And then with the new recruits through the trading period and the draft, um, hopefully just coming in and uh, complementing what we're doing, um, we should see a rise back up the ladder. Ross, you, Ross has spoken about getting back to the three-man way. Is that, is that more defensive or more the defensive structures being strong? Uh, I, I think it's a total game plan. Obviously, that's what we were renowned for in 2013 and 14. Um, but I don't think we, we're not looking to go back to how we were then. AFL is an evolving beast and we need to evolve with, with it. Um, I think last year we just took a few too many steps off our path and tried to implement a little bit too much. So um, in terms of that, we might just shave it down a bit and simplify that area a little bit. Um, but in, I guess our, just our total team um, needs to be a lot better. And Dave, would, would Fife be being the main challenge to you as captain? Would he be a good captain, do you think? Uh, I, I assume, I guess so. I vote for Nathan. Um, but in saying that, our entire leadership group over a number of years have proven um, to be valuable leaders and, and leaders of the club. Um, so, yeah, it's up to the players. Can I just ask Colm Sylvia to fall on yeah. the weekend? I know he's only here for six months or so, it yeah. seemed to be. Um, have you been in contact with him and, and found out a little bit more about it? Quite gruesome shots. Yeah, no, I haven't. I'm following the news like everyone else and um, you know, I hope he gets better soon, but I haven't uh, made contact, no. Dave, you might have answered this already, but uh, half-back, is that your best position going forward or midfield, or do you have a view on that? Uh, I do. Um, I think it'll be a, a really good blend of both, um, but obviously talk's cheap and we'll see what happens when the game starts.